Hello students, so today we are going to go through plastic processing and previously in the previous lecture we went through injection molding and now we are going to go through extrusion process. So in this lecture we are going to uh, get introduction to the extrusion process and then we were going to go through the processes and equipments which are used. Then we will look into the extruder, what is this kind of extruder and what are, what are the different types of extruder like the screw the breaker plate etc. Uh, extruder die designs will be also uh, studied such as solid profile, hollow profile, wire and cable coating etc. and extrusion defects will be discussed as well. So I will introduce once again Dr. Eamon from the advanced manufacturing group to uh, give us the lecture. Uh, his uh, style is quite nice and clear to give us lecture on plastic processing extrusion process. Thank you. Okay, plastic extrusion. Okay, extrusion. Apa maksud extrusion tadi? Ada kita sebut banyak lah kata extrusion tadi tapi tak 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 pergi into deep lah apa sebenarnya extrusion tu. So extrusion is a one of the mandal uh, shaping process. Okay, extrusion ni bukan limited to plastik saja lah. Sama juga dengan molding. Molding bukan saja limited ke plastik. Metal pun ada molding juga. Kita sebut sebagai casting. Okay tapi menggunakan mold juga fungsi yang sama sama juga yang extrusion bukan saja untuk plastik ada juga untuk metal dan juga selami ok it's a compression uh, process kita compress material tu ok material is forced to flow through a die orifice, orifice ok ataupun kita sebut sebagai opening ok die opening ok then extrusion pro uh, produce a long continuous product Okay, itu ada punya perbezaan dengan injection. Injection dia menghasilkan satu-satu-satu produk tapi untuk extrusion dia menghasilkan produk yang continuous bersambung-sambung macam wayar lah. Okay, macam wayar ataupun uh, macam pipe air yang panjang tu ke. Ha, itu contohnya lah extrusion. Okay, the cross section shape of the product is determined by the shape of the orifice. Bergantung kepada die punya opening ni. Okay, produk, produk of extrusion ah tube lah kebanyakannya tube lah benda yang panjang-panjang dan bentuk cross section dia scatter kan benda dia punya cross section tu ialah uh, constant itulah dia produk daripada extrusion okey tube pipe hose structural shape window door molding okay, sheet metal continuous filament coated electric part wire and cable okey the extrusion product is called extruded okey hasilnya kita sebagi sebagai extruded ini adalah contoh Uh, uh, apa nama uh, extrusion unit ok, fit stock it form of pellet ok, ni pun sama, termo plastik eh, bukan termo set, termo plastik uh, of, of powder it fed into the barrel ok, hopper ataupun barrel tadi kita masukkan okay, then it's heated and melt forced by a rotating screw to flow through a die opening sama saja, screw ni sama macam injection molding punya Uh, sistem lah, tapi bezanya dia tidak bergerak, dia berpusing saja. Eh. Okay, dia punya skru ni tak akan bergerak ke belakang, ke depan belakang, dia akan berpusing dalam uh, constant speed dan dia akan menghasil, menghasilkan satu uh, material flow yang konsisten lah, tak akan terputus-putus. Okay, macam injection tadi dia ada cycle, okay, satu cycle, satu cycle menghasilkan uh, part, uh, apa ni, setiap cycle menghasilkan satu produk untuk solution ni dia menghasilkan continuous produk. Okay. The main component of the extruder is uh, the barrel and the screw. Okay, barrel and the screw. The die is not part of the extruder. Die ni di luar daripada extruder lah. Die ni kita boleh tukar-tukar lah sebenarnya. Okay, extruder ni apa yang menolak material keluar ni itu adalah the main part of the extruder. Okay, die ni is not the part of the extruder. Dia benda macam macam tools lah. Kalau macam mesin kita ada tools. Okay, mata tools tu die ni sama juga untuk extruder inilah part-part yang uh, apa uh, yang boleh interchangeable lah, yang kita boleh tukar-tukar. The die must be fabricated for the particular profile to be produced. Sama macam mold, die tu pun kita perlu hasilkan sendiri, uh, hasilkan spesifik kepada produk apa yang kita nak hasilkan. The pellet are fit by the gravity onto the rotating screw. Selalunya kita biarkan uh, masukkan saja dalam hopper tu dan uh, pellet tu akan masuk sendiri lah, turun sendiri. Okay. Uh, secara menggunakan gravity saja. The electric heater are used to initiate the melting the solid pellet. Okay, so dekat sini akan ada sedikit heater lah. 
Okay. Heater tu untuk mem- memanaskan lagi okay. atau dapatkan extra energy lah untuk mencairkan plastik tu. The rotating screw move the material along the barrel. Okay. Screw tu pusing dan menolak uh, material tu along the barrel lah. In this case ke arah uh, kanan ni lah, ke arah extruder atau ke arah die ni. The, mis- the mixing and the mechanical working generate additional heat which maintain the Well, okay, heater ni akan panaskan dan cairkan dalam masa yang sama uh, heat tu akan loss kan bila heat tu akan loss okay, kita punya mixing and mechanical movement ni okay, akan tambah additional energy lah dalam masa yang sama untuk maintain the apa nama the heat okay, throughout this extrusion sepanjang extrusion ni and the screw, the screw is divided into section that have a several function sama macam reaction untuk extruder pun Screw dia ada beberapa section. Fit section, stock is moved from the hopper part and preheat. Okay, fit section ni dia akan ambil daripada hopper. Okay, dan panaskan preheat. Then compression section. Compression section 25 is transformed into liquid consistency and trap air is uh, extracted and then material is compressed ok, kat bahagian ni, then, then maturing section the melt is uh, homogenized ok, bagi dia sebati dan juga sufficient pressure is developed to pump through the die opening ok, dia tambahkan pressure, dia gaulkan dengan lebih sekata sebelum dia pergi kepada uh, melalui die Okay, the depth, the channel depth. Okay, ini sedikit uh, uh, detail lah parameter, parameter yang terlibat dalam screw di dalam extruder ni lah. Okay, ni lebih technical sikit. Uh, just uh, for your information saja. Okay, ada beberapa parameter lah yang kita boleh highlight berkenaan dengan screw tu. Channel depth. Okay, uh, fit section. Uh, lepas tu dia ada DC ni. Okay, dia punya channel depth tu. Okay, dia ada gradual reduce. Okay, lepas tu ada juga dekat material section punya channel apa nama, channel depth tu pun beza lah. Dia akan berubah-berubah. Okay, itu apa nama just for your information sajalah. Hmm. Okay, before reaching the die, the melt pass through a breaker plate. Okay. Apa breaker plate ni? Breaker plate is a series of wire mesh support by a stiff plate contain small cone. Okay, apa kenapa ada macam filter ni? Yeah, the filter uh, the function is to filter contaminate and hard lump of from uh, of, met, uh, of metal, okay, from uh, melting. To build up pressure in the metal injection and then to straighten the polymer flow and remove it memory of the circular motion applied by screw. Memory in this case uh, refer to the viscoelastic properties of polymer. Yeah. Okay, apa maksud dia? First kali dia nak uh, filter lah yang 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 tak cair sangat tu, yang ada lam lam plastik yang besar besar tu. Okay, dia nak cair, dia, dia tak nak bagi masuk ke dalam dia, dia akan filter. Okay, lepas tu bila ada halangan di sini, pressure akan meningkat lah. Kat material section ni. Okay, dia nak pressure dia meningkat dan yang paling penting ialah nak straighten the polymer flow. Okey sebab dalam ni polimer tu bergerak secara berpusing eh. Okey. Polimer tu bergerak secara berpusing dalam skru ni. So dia ada memori yang dia bergerak secara berpusing. Ada inisia dia berpusing kat situ. Okey. So bila kita nak masuk dalam dai, kita tak nak dai the material tu masuk dalam dai dalam apa nama moment yang berpusing macam itu. Kita nak dia gerak straight gitu eh, ke dalam dai. Okey sebab tu kita ada filter tu dia ada filter tu, dia punya inisia yang berpusing tu akan stop dari situ okay. dan bila dia lalu lubang tu, lubang tu straight saja so material tu akan lalu secara uh, uh, straight, okay. tegak okay. itu maksud dia, dia nak hilangkan memori di mana apa nama material tu bergerak gerak secara berpusing di dalam skru tu okay. The shape of the die okay determine the cross section shape of the extruded. Okay, common die profile are solid profile, follow hollow profile, okay, wire, sheet film and filament. Ni contoh-contohnya lah. 
Okay, solid profile when the material exit the die, it's still soft. Okay, masih lembut sekali lagi. Can then it's cool by the air blowing, water spray or bypass into through wire, uh, through water. Okay, bila dia keluar daripada die tu, material tu masih panas lagi. Okay, so lepas dia keluar daripada die, so immediately kita kena sejukkan dia lah. Kalau tak nanti dia akan berubah bentuk lah. To compensate, uh, compensate the die as well, okay, the die opening is made long enough to remove some of the memory in die as well or the, what we call effect of viscoelicity lah. So untuk mengelakkan tu, okay, die tu akan sedikit berbeza sikit lah. Die tu sebenarnya bentuk dia bukan exactly the same like the product. Sebenarnya dah ada perbezaan sedikit. Hmm. Okay, for the shape other than round, die opening is designed with slightly different correction. So that the effect of the die swell provide shape correction. Okay. Die shoot, die punya swell ni maknanya bila dia keluar daripada die tu, okay, macam gambar ni, dia material tu akan kembang sikit. Okay, dia akan besar sikit. Okay, tu sebut, kita sebut sebagai die swell lah. Bila dia keluar, material tu akan kembang sikit. Dan lepas tu bila kita sejukkan, dia akan kecut balik sikit. Tapi dia punya ratio tu tak sama. Okay, oleh sebab itu die punya design proses tu, Okay, kena memang custom lah supaya hasil yang kita nak tu keluar sebiji macam apa yang kita design. Okay. So dye tu tak semestinya akan sama dengan produk punya uh, bentuk. Okay. So for hollow profile, dye is used to produce tube pipe coals and then a mandrel, okay, cylindrical rod is required to form the hollow shape. Okay. Uh, the mandrel is here in the place using a spider, okay. Dia akan pegang spider, kita sebut sebagai spider leg. The polymer melt flow through the leg supporting the mandrel to reunite into a tube. Well, okay, dia ada, ada gap kan, tapi bila dia keluar dia akan bentuk perfect macam ni lah. Okay. The mandrel often include air channel. Air is to blow to maintain the hollow form in the actually during hardening. The products are cooled down using the water channel and water filter. Okay, sama lah. Cuma bila ada hollow ni, dia kita ada part dekat tengah ni. And then for wire and cable coating, ah ini macam dua kali lah. Okay, kita ada wire satu dalam, atau kita ada uh, apa nama uh, coating kat luar. Okay, wire coating is the most important extrusion process. Okay, polymer melt is applied to the bare wire as it pull high speed through a die. Okay, ada wire masuk dekat sini. Okay, bila wire masuk dekat sini akan ada apa nama dia punya coating tu. Okay, coating tu daripada atas ni panaskan. Okay, and then a slight vacuum is drawn between the wire and polymer to promote the adhesive of the coating. Akan, sedikit, akan ada sedikit vacuum. Okay, bila ada vacuum ni adis, apa nama coating ni akan melekat lagi. Uh, kuatlah kepada uh, wire kita tu. Okay, for, link, uh, for cooling purpose, the coat wire is passed through a water chain. Okay, so ini ada beberapa jenis defect. Okay, defect yang boleh terhasil daripada proses extrusion ni. Okay, melt fracture. Uh, melt fracture. Okay, ini yang paling teruk sekali. A very high stress acting on the melt immediately before, during and during it flow through the Die. Okay, ada stress yang sangat tinggi dekat sini. Okay, oleh sebab itu uh, dia punya hasilnya akan jadi irregular. Okay, tak seperti yang kita nak lah. Dia akan bentuk, dia tak sama macam bentuk die. Can be caused by the sharp reduction at the die entrance caused by turbulent flow and break up the knot. Okay, so dia punya die punya design tu lah. Then also dia punya pressure. Uh, sharp skin. Okay, ni this one is uh, quite common. The surface of the product become rough upon exiting the die. The friction at the interface of the die opening result in the velocity profile across the projection. Okay, so senang cerita bila ada die, okay, uh, metal plastik uh, plastik yang mengalir tu tak sama velocity dia, alaju dia tak sama. Yang dekat tepi ni slow sikit sebab ada drag daripada die ni. Yang tengah-tengah ni laju sikit mengalir dia. Okay, bila tak 
tak tak sama uh, apa halaju plastik ni melalui dye itu yang menjadi dia punya surface ni jadi kasar the tensile stress develop at the surface at this material material is stretched to to keep up with the faster moving center core okay this uh, stress cause minor rupture break and then roughen rough the surface okay sebab tu dia jadi kasar eh, sebab ada perbezaan hal laju okay uh, bambooing bambooing ini if a velocity gradient become extreme Okay, the prominent mark occur in the form of bamboo plate. Okay, this more severe uh, defect lah. Dia jadi bila dia keluar tu, dia macam ada part-part partition macam bulu lah. Ada part-part, satu part, satu part lah. Okay, itu. Ini disebabkan, maybe disebabkan oleh hak laju lah. Hak laju gradient yang uh, tinggi. Dia macam laju slow, laju slow. Extrusion tu, dia tak consistent. Okay, the... Okay, itu itu saja. Okay, itu saja untuk proses kita hari ini. So, sebelum kita habis, kita akan buat sedikit product design consideration lah yang macam saya sebut awal tadi. Okay, in general uh, for strength and stiffness, plastic are not as strong as metal but they should not be used in the application involve high stress okay bila you nak buat produk nanti okay kalau apa nama part tu bahagian uh, produk itu melibatkan stress yang tinggi so tak boleh guna plastik lah okay then impact resistant the capacity of the plastic to absorb impact is good okay dia lagi kuat dia punya uh, impact absorption so kita boleh gunakan di part-part yang selalu kena impact okay tapi of course lah dia punya impact tu tak terlalu tinggi lah but it's much better compared to other brittle material okay the surface temperature the plastic are limited relative to engineering metal and ceramic so tak boleh lah produk you tu tak boleh digunakan pada apa temperature yang tinggi lah untuk proses-proses uh, untuk untuk plastik ni okay tak boleh digunakan untuk application yang high temperature uh, even medium temperature pun uh, tak boleh okay thermal expansion greater for plastic than metal Ya okay, plastik ni kalau kita panaskan dia punya ex, apa nama expansion tu lagi tinggi lah compared to metal. So kena consider tu semua. Dimension change due to temperature variation are much more significant. Okay. Then degradation. Degradation can be degraded from the sunlight and certain radiation. So kena fikir kalau plastik tu part tu nak digunakan dengan long term. Okay part tu tak boleh digunakan kalau dia menggunakan plastik lah ataupun part tu akan terdedah kepada sunlight atau apa-apa jenis radiation tak boleh guna plastik sebab plastik akan degrade dengan cepat lah bila terdedah kepada keadaan macam itu some plastik degrade dengan oxygen and ozone temperature oh sorry ozone uh, atmosphere plastik are soluble in many common solvent so kalau terdedah pada bahan kimia pun boleh cair okay tak semestinya Uh, temperature saja, chemical pun dia tak stable juga lah kalau, kalau terkena dengan uh, bahan-bahan kimia tertentu then, but then it's resistant to corrosion tak perlu fikirlah pasal karat semua itu kelebihan plastik uh, lepas tu untuk extrusion plastik okay. apa part uh, apa nama kita punya consideration is the uniform wall thickness is desired kalau you kita nak hasilkan satu produk yang continuous dan juga Uh, dia, dia punya wall thickness is konsisten uh, memang kita sesuai pakai extrude plastik non uniform wall thickness result is non uniform plastic flow and cooling this will cause the extrude to rub and twist out the shape nah, itu tapi kita kena consider dia punya defect defect itu jugalah okey hollow section hollow section complicate the design and the plastic flow so bila ada hollow section dalam extrude plus apa nama proses tu akan jadi lebih complicated lah Okay, but then it's still doable. Uh, it is recommended to use solid extrude cross section. Tapi kalau boleh, uh, extruded uh, apa nama uh, molding ni kita gunakan untuk uh, solid produk saja, eh? bukan hollow. Kalau hollow lebih kepada sesuai pakai uh, injection. And then the corner, corner should be avoided lah. Sharp corner, 90 degree punya corner tu kita kalau boleh kita elakkan. Okay, sharp corner result in uneven flow during process and then the, it will cause stress concentration 
in the final product. Okay, untuk molded part, each part required unique mold. The mold is the costly part. Okay, mold tu yang mahal lah. Sebab mold tu boleh hasilkan satu komponen saja. Okay, machine molding tu boleh hasilkan apa-apa jenis produk. Okay, tapi untuk setiap produk tu memerlukan mold yang spesifik. So, mold tu yang lagi costly lah. Okay. For injection molding, minimum production quantity that economical is lebih kurang. This for apa nama medium size punya produk lah. Biasa punya produk tak kecil, tak besar. Dalam 10,000, 10,000 piece. Okay, for compression molding, minimum economical quantity is around 1,000. Okay. Sebab apa? Sebab injection tu dia punya machine tu lagi mahal. Okay, dia punya mold pun lagi complicated. So, kena piece tu kena lagi tinggi lah. Okay, walaupun dia punya production rate tu tinggi. Okay. Dia punya apa nama, minimum number of economical punya uh, value tu pun kena tinggi juga. Okay. Uh, part complexity, more complex, uh, more is more expensive. Okay, kalau kita pakai more yang complex, lagi mahal lah. Hasilan more tu sendiri. But it's more economical to design a complex more than to produce an assembly in individual component. Okay, kalau kita boleh buat satu part Uh, yang kompleks tu, complicated tu sekali dalam satu molding walaupun mold tu akan mahal secara totalnya ia lagi murah berbanding dengan apabila kita buat uh, kita pecahkan part-part kompleks tu kepada contohnya kalau kita boleh pecahkan kepada lima bahagian kita buat setiap satu lima tu apa uh, nama part tu kita produce secara berbeza lepas tu kita join, assemble lima part tu okay? lagi murah lagi kita hasilkan satu mold yang sangat kompleks dan sangat mahal untuk hasilkan terus okay, satu komponen yang combine lima part tadi tu compare daripada kita pecahkan kepada lima dan hasilkan asing-asing dan kita uh, assemble ha, tu lagi mahal eh. lagi ekonomikal untuk kita hasilkan mall tu lah sebab mall ni dia, dia uh, bukan consumable eh. sekali kita hasilkan okay, bila kita design mall tu dengan betul dia memang tak akan degrade okay, tak perlu nak maintain dia kita boleh gunakan berapa banyak kali pun tak ada masalah okay, dia tak ada expire Okay, as long as kita nak hasilkan produk tu, produk yang sama, kita boleh gunakan mula tu mula yang sama. Okay, tak ada limit berapa number boleh boleh kita hasilkan produk menggunakan satu mula. Okay, as long as kita design mula tu dengan betul lah. Okay. Wall thickness, uh, thick cross section is yang desired. Okay, bila kita buat mula ni, okay, thick cross section tu kita apa nama, ter, cuba elakkan lah sebab dia membazir material dan juga boleh menghasilkan wrapping wrapping ni maknanya dia bila kita sejuk tu dia tak sekata kan dia punya penyejukan tu tak sekata sebab dinding tu terlalu tebal luar tu lagi sejuk lagi cepat daripada dalam so dia akan akan ada deformation sedikit bentuk tu akan berubah sedikit and then sharp corner sharp corner pun kita nak elakkan lah dia interrupt smooth flow melt and then to create a surface defect and cause stress causation in the finished product Okay, so beberapa bentuk apa, ciri-ciri uh, kriteria produk okay, yang kita tak nak ialah macam tadi sebut wall thickness yang tebal dan juga uh, corner yang tajam. And then lubang, okay, hole complicate the mold design and part removal. Hole can also interrupt the melt flow. So kalau boleh lubang pun kita tak nak. Okay, kalau boleh lubang tu kita hasilkan sebab lubang ni kita boleh hasilkan dengan mudah lah menggunakan drilling saja. Lagi-lagi dan untuk plastik sangat mudah lah. So kita hasilkan mall tu dulu tanpa ada lubang dan lepas tu dah siap mall tu baru kita lubangkan. So ide lagi memudahkan proses mall tu kita hasilkan mall tu dan bila proses uh, injection ataupun extrusion tu lagi mudah lah. Okay, dia tak akan terganggu dengan ada lubang tu. Bila ada lubang-lubang tu mall tu akan jadi mahal. Lepas tu bila kita inject plastik dalam mall tu pun sendiri plastik tu pengaliran ni pun akan terganggu bila ada lubang-lubang tu. Okay, so lubang tu kita drill kemudian. Draft and taper, okay, bila ada angle macam ini, okay. The mold part include draft to make removal process easier. Okay, kalau boleh ada taper macam ini. Kalau kita, kita nak part yang ada taper macam ini. Sebab apa taper? Senang kita nak remove part ni daripada mold. Bila inject, apa, injector pin tu tolak, senang nak tercabut. Okay, instead of the 90 degree flat gitu kan. This is uh, especially important for the cup shape part because the modern plastic concentrate again the positive mode shape mode betul lah kalau lagi-lagi bentuk yang cup itulah okay. 
and then other things that we need to consider is the tolerance. Okay, generous large tolerance are desirable for injection molding because of the shrinkage. So product yang kita hasilkan ni kita nak product yang boleh terima tolerance yang tinggi. Maknanya dia kalau plus minus 2 mm okey gitu. Kalau kita punya produk ni mesti plus minus 0.1 mm. Maybe produk tu susah sikit untuk kita hasilkan menggunakan uh, plastic formation ni lah. Okay, sebab kita punya injection molding dan juga extrusion semua ni molding ni dia akan menghasilkan produk yang sedikit tolerannya tinggi disebabkan oleh banyak parameter-parameter tertentu dan juga sedikit apa nama nature properties of the plastic itself lah. Bila kita panaskan kita sejukkan memang akan ada Uh, apa nama margin margin tu untuk setiap produk tu akan ada sedikit perbezaan tolerance tu agak tinggi lah so kita kena consider benda tu perlu tak produk kita ni tolerance ke kena kecil ke ataupun kalau tinggi sikit tolerance plus minus 1 mm 2 mm ok so maybe ok lah pakai pro, apa, proses ni kalau tolerance perlu kecil then maybe kita kena consider menggunakan proses yang lain ok so ini sedikit contoh untuk design to minimize distortion Okay, so contohnya kita ada satu original design macam ni, kita nak bentuk T eh. Okay, kita nak bentuk T tapi lepas kita buat, dia ada sedikit distort distort macam ni. Okay, melengkung yang bila dia kita sejukkan. So maybe kita kena modify kita punya die macam ni ataupun kita punya uh, mall kita macam ni untuk dapat, untuk mengelakkan distortion ni. Sama juga kita ada satu design macam ni. Okay, bila kita dah siap, kita bentuk dia ada sedikit bending di sini. So macam mana kita di design balik, kita letakkan satu uh, part di sini. Okay, untuk mengelakkan produk ni bending. Okay. So, contoh lain. Okay, ini untuk extrusion. Okay. Dye kita, kita nak bentuk petak macam ni. Okay. Tapi kita punya dye tak boleh bentuk petak. Kalau bentuk petak, dia tak jadi hasil macam ni. So, maybe kita punya dye kena bentuk macam ni. Okay, dye kita bentuk macam ni. Tapi apabila kita buat dye apa nama, extrusion proses tu, hasilnya kita dapat uh, square macam ni. Okay. So itu maksud kita tak tak semestinya sama eh. Ini disebabkan oleh apa nama? dive dive swelling tu lah. Tapi bila dia keluar plastik tu keluar daripada dive dia akan kembang sikit. Okey. So maybe okey ini adalah contoh lah. Tak semestinya benda ni berlaku betul eh. Ini adalah contoh. Okey bergantung kepada jenis material, temperature dan parameter-parameter lain lah. program will explain the various types of processing machines used to make the wide range of plastic products in use throughout our lives. A good start is injection molding. Injection molding is used to make plastic parts using two-part molds that, when closed, are injected with melted plastic to form individual parts. Here's how it works. Material gravity flows into the injection machine screw where it is melted by the compressing motion of the screw and then injected into the mold to form the part or parts. The mold is quickly cooled, letting the parts solidify. The mold opens to release the parts and the mold closes again to repeat the cycle over and over again. Molding cycles can last anywhere from one second for tiny parts made in tiny molding machines to minutes for large parts made in presses the size of a building. Extrusion processes use the same plastic melting operation as injection molding, but there is no mold, and the resin compressing screw rotates constantly, and product is created continuously. Extrusion uses a die, a hollow form that molten plastic is pushed through to create its specific shape and thickness. A water bath or spray chamber then cool the extruded shape and often provide pressure and or vacuum controls to properly size the product as it passes through. Belts or cleated pullers apply smooth tension on the product and keep it moving in pace with the extruder. A cutter or saw create the final product length or a winder creates spools of the final product. 
There are many variations to the extrusion process, but a mixture of extrusion and molding is found in the blow molding process, where plastic is continuously extruded into a tube shape and then clamped in a mold and blown into its shape with compressed air. It's a process that often operates in a shuttle movement with a set of molds. Each mold takes a turn grabbing a section of extruded tube, called a parison, and shuttling it to one side to blow it into a bottle shape, letting it cool, and then releasing it to be filled with product or shipped. Each mold alternates with a second mold doing the same thing for maximum productivity. The same blow molding process can also utilize multiple extruders for what is called co-extrusion. Co-extrusion is used to create bottles made up of multiple layers, and each layer possesses special characteristics like suitability for food contact, an outside color for brand awareness, ultraviolet light protection for long shelf life of the product, a layer of regrind for economical reuse of scrap, and many times barrier and adhesive layers are included to separate and bond the layers for a tough, cohesive bottle. A high volume form of blow molding uses many molds mounted onto a continuously rotating wheel mechanism. The extruder creates a hollow tube and as the wheel rotates, each of its molds will open, grab a parison from the extruder die, blow the parison into a bottle, allow it to cool, and then place it onto a conveyor, producing a continuous stream of finished bottles originating from that continuous flow of plastic from the extruder. These wheel machines can also produce co-extruded bottles containing layers designed to meet the needs of the product and to use reclaimed material for maximum economy and recycling benefits. The very popular sales of plastic bottles for carbonated beverages has created a unique process for blow molded bottles made specifically from polyethylene terephthalate, or PET. For PET blow molding, bottles are first created in a test tube shape, injection molded preform, and then, in a separate operation, reheated and blown into their final shape. This two-stage process creates bottles that we, as consumers, know to be thin-walled, yet capable of containing gaseous carbonated beverages without losing pressure or exploding, even if they are dropped. In the blown film extrusion process, Thin plastic material for products like garbage bags or the sheeting used in construction, industry, and packaging are produced. A very thin die opening, which is often fed by multiple extruders, faces upward in a round shape. A tall, thin, continuous bubble is produced vertically by this process, and it's cooled as it flows upward, typically 30 feet or more, where it is then folded and brought back down and placed onto rolls or converted into popular film products. And all these processes, from injection molding to film extrusion, rely on Con Air products to support their productivity and efficiency. Thanks for watching.